Hi everyone, it's Miss Hillary from the Delaware Public Library and I am back to read a book with you guys and sing some songs. So the first song that we're going to get started with is The More We Get Together. You might remember that one from some earlier videos. So we're going to do it with sign language. And the sign for more is we take our fingertips and we put them together like that. And then together we put our fists like this and we give a little stir. And then for happier, we'll take our hands, place them palm out towards us and kind of brush up. And then for friends, we make hooks with our fingers and link them together. So I hope you're ready to get started. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, everyone. You did such a great job. So our book today is Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. What are some things that you guys are saying right now? Are you guys saying kind things? Because you're stuck at home with your family. Are you maybe getting a little bit irritated with them? We'll have to see what happens. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways. With words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. See, look at that. They're not talking. He's just sitting next to him being there with him while he's sad. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, Say something by being brave. He's saying, hey, stop. It takes a lot to be brave like that. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, Say something with confidence. Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. If you are angry, say something to help people understand. Look. He's saying, you made me feel invisible. That really hurt. And he says, I'm really sorry. It's important to talk if we're angry or if we have hurt feelings. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe.
Some people find it easier to say something than others. But everyone has something to say. So when you're ready, say something. <clears throat> Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? The end. That was such a good book. I hope that it can help you say something when you really need to. So that is the end of our mini story time. And I hope that you guys are ready to sing Skinnamarink. All right, here we go. Get out your skinnamarinks. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skinnamarinky dinky dink. fun with you today and I hope that today's book inspires you to say something important. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!